The market will be looking at performance metrics, including MPG, along with how the vehicles get fixed as part of the recall process. As you know, in Europe, diesel are huge. Um, there's, they make up a, a large share of the market. Here in the U.S., they're a much smaller share. Um, so what we'll be looking at is really volume, um, that volume going into the auction lanes or retail um, side of the market and seeing, um, you know, will the volume decrease? Is it um, continuing to decrease? Will it bottom out? Additionally, how will values fare? Um, currently, right now, we're seeing dealers are shying away from those, um, those models in the wholesale market, but we, are, we saw about a 30% decrease uh, in the past couple of weeks in auction volume for those affected models. Um, and so does that volume decrease uh, then lead to a decrease in value? They're definitely going to be looking at the performance metrics, right? Does their vehicle uh, go as far on a full tank of gas? You know, do they get the same miles per gallon? Um, it's interesting with the, with the Honda you mentioned, um, you know, that was a big issue and it seems it kind of blew over now. So it, it's, it's kind of up in the air if, if, if this will stick in consumers' minds going forward. Um, I believe it will because it's specifically to the TDI, and the TDI is kind of a rarity in the in the U.S. market. So they're going to associate TDI with, um, you know, this this scandal, the the worsening of the performance, and and again how it how it gets fixed in the future, and how these vehicles will play out. And if if these fixed vehicles will be significantly worse than they had once thought they were, um, there's definitely going to be a large negative impact on on uh, future consumers buying these vehicles and purchasing these vehicles.